morning. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everybody's well this morning. You may remember during the last lockdown, lockdown one as we're now calling it, um, I asked your recommendations for a new corded vacuum cleaner. I was looking to replace my old one and I think I must have had the biggest response ever to a question that I asked you guys on that. So many different recommendations and opinions on that. So I thought when this company contacted me, thought this might be of interest to you because um, it's a vacuum cleaner. I have been sent a vacuum cleaner to try out. Now, I like a cordless one for little pickups, but the corded one is good for doing whole rooms. Anyway, my cordless Dyson is not being great at the moment. It's had a lot of problems with intermittent motor problems and um, I keep cleaning the filters and cleaning it out and it's just not behaving as it should. I'm feeling like it might be heading towards the end of its life. So that was another reason that when these people contacted me and to see if I would like to try out the Eufy S11 in infinity woo woo i thought it might be interesting and here it is in its box and we're going to unbox it and put it through its paces now this is not a vacuum cleaner company i'd ever heard of so i immediately when they contacted me went to look at the amazon reviews and they're pretty good they are good so i've got quite high hopes for it even though it's not a brand i know of and i'll say at the outset it's certainly not the cheapest vacuum cleaner so i do have quite high expectations um so let's try it out and see what we think you're at a bit of a funny angle, but that'll work for unboxing it. So it comes with this sort of fairly neat, it's heavy-ish, not massively heavy, but it comes with this very neat little carrying box. So nice, neat packaging, and it doesn't have any difficulty opening it. I'm hoping it's gonna be easy to put together. Let's, Yuffie Smart Home, it says. Right, oh, it's numbered on here. Can you see that? This, let me lift it a little bit. This bit says one, two, and three. So I'm guessing we open them in that order. <gasps> oh, it works. That was, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, this is good. It comes with a spare battery. <gasps> That's super good isn't it i love that big double marks for that for sure that's very very good so you don't have to sorry i know you can't see me very well so you can just unplug one battery presumably put the other one to charge and carry on that's good isn't it that fits on perfectly nice it feels nice and solid. I wondered if it would feel cheap compared with um, my Dyson one, but it certainly doesn't. It feels like it's a nice sort of build quality. The, I would say that this bit, the bit where it collects dust is quite small, but they generally are on cordless vacuums anyway. I have to empty the one I've got at the moment quite a lot. So this bit is obviously the bit you attach to the wall and put it in like that so it hangs on the wall like that to charge and don't quite know how the charger works but that's all right we can deal with that and then we've got loads of different right I've had a quick look at all the diagrams this brush you can switch out for the normal brush in the main um head that you use for cleaning you know it's got the swirly roundy brush um this this you can switch out for it. It doesn't specify under what circumstances or floor types you would want to use this, so I don't quite know. So I might give that a go a bit later, but we're gonna start with the basic one. Um, I've got the second battery on charge. There's little lights on the batteries that show you how charged it is, three blue lights, and um, which is quite useful. So we're gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna do some hard floors, some carpets. We're gonna see how it performs and I'll let you know what I think of it. And I'm gonna do some other jobs along the way as well. Some cleaning jobs that certainly aren't every week jobs, but 
less regular than that we're going to do those as we go around the house as well two birds with one stone and all that now let me just tell you what i want from a cordless vacuum cleaner i want it to be cordless obviously hilarious um i want the tools to be easy to interchange should i need them i want it all to snap together nicely and i have to say in putting it together and putting the other tools on that's a win so far it feels really nicely made um I like the battery life to be good however with the second battery that isn't necessarily you know it, it that's a good option isn't it hopefully the, the it doesn't mean the battery is half as powerful so I like to be able to do the room I like it to empty easily I like I don't want to have to put my hands up inside the thing the the this bin to try and get the stuff out i want it to empty easily and in one go when i empty the little container um and it's, it's also got i should say it's got two different powers it's got a maximum power and a normal power and it seems quite quiet using it it does seem quite quiet so let's go and hoover my lounge and see how it does lounge but i have cleaned the whole lounge with it um this is how much it's picked up it was hoovered a couple of days ago so there probably wasn't loads to hoover but it picked up really nicely i felt and um, it's really nice and easy to use in terms of pushing it round it doesn't hold tight to the floor whether that means it's not sucking as much as my Dyson does I don't know I would say it is it seems to have it the carpet looks clean I used it on full power mode I didn't feel like the normal power was strong enough for my liking but having said that I always use the Dyson on full power mode as well so perhaps it's just what I'm used to I really like I don't know if you're going to be able to see this when you turn it on it lights up at the front so it lights where you're cleaning which i thought was quite wazzy and fun um yeah I, it's nice to use for sure picked up nicely all positive so far right while i'm in the lounge i'm going to clean sorry about the noise gardeners outside <laughs> While I'm in the lounge, I'm going to clean the inside of the big picture windows. The builder has recently finished work in the lounge and um, the big windows have taken several goes to get them completely clean and streak free. So I'm going to have one last go at the far two to um, give those a clean. Then we're going to move on to the kitchen. Just before I test out the vacuum on the kitchen floor, the hard floor, to see how it operates in here, the couple of jobs I want to do in the kitchen, first of all, are to put a cleaning wash through the dishwasher i've just washed all the filters didn't film that didn't think you needed to see the inside of my dishwasher filter you're welcome <laughs> um, so i'm going to do one of those these cleaning wash things you shove this into the dishwasher and do it on a high temperature wash just to keep it all operating as it should and it's also telling me that i need to fit, refill the rinse aid compartment so i'm going to do that at the same time the other job I need to do in here that hasn't been done for a while is clean the microwave. So I use a glass bowl, Pyrex bowl, a slice of lemon and a slice of lime from the freezer. And I will fill this up with water recently boiled from the kettle and pop it in here without a lid on, set it on high for five minutes, which creates lots of lemon and lime scented steam, which makes the yucky microwave much easier to just wipe out all the um, stuck on foodie nastiness so that's my other job in here right we are now in my kitchen and we're going to see how this performs on hard floor just got the standard foot on it still it doesn't have a lifty up thing i don't think for doing the hard floor so i assume it's just the same as doing the carpet with this one let's go
with that. I was concerned, as it doesn't have a se separate setting for hard floors, that it would just push the little bits and pieces on the hard floor around the room but it didn't do that it picked up really well first time on almost everything and the other thing i always like to check on a hard floor is that it will go nicely into the corners and under the edges of the um what do you call these kickboards right up to the corners because that's where all the sort of bits and pieces in the kitchen tend to go to isn't it in the corners and that it would pick up right into the sides and it did a good job of that as well so yeah pretty happy with it for hard floors we are in my bedroom and this is where the eufy s11 gets its real test i've got a very thick pile carpet in my bedroom honestly i feel like for a cordless it's pretty tough it's a pretty tough job but we'll see how it does I'm not holding out loads of hope because the Dyson cordless doesn't do a brilliant job in here. So we shall see. First of all though, I'm armed with my Dettol Clean and Fresh Multi-Purpose and my cloth. And I'm going to wipe around. I don't know if you can see. It's very bright on the window frames. I get a little bit of mouldiness over the winter months. As soon as the winter months set in, this sort of grows back, so although I don't clean it off every single week, I probably should, but I'm going to just give it a good squirt and a good wipe and hopefully get rid of it. job it picked up everything on the surface that I could see which was good I do feel that for a deep pile carpet I'd want to go over it with my corded shark um, it it just has a bit more oomph but as I said to be fair the Dyson I feel the same with that I think it would be absolutely fine for just doing if there was a little you know a few bits and pieces on the surface but for a decent clean on a deep pile carpet i feel i need something a little more powerful but it didn't do a bad job at all equally as good as the dyson in here if not better and it's way easier to push so overall quite impressed with it now let's see what it's like at emptying the bin okay this is pretty easy i did have to look in the book but then i have to look in the book for most things to be honest um, you press this button here which releases this just comes away from the main machine like that and then there's a button here and it just flaps the door open there to put it into the bin right, right let's see how easily it empties them pretty good completely empty like that no bits still stuck up around here which is good i like that oh there's the filter the filters have to come out to be cleaned just like with any vacuum let's see how easy it is to pop back onto there yep super easy right finally i'm just going to show you some of the other tools it came with just a quick run through of what you've got and some final thoughts so you have your main tool, your main tube and big tool here. I love the fact this lights up. I think that's quite wazzy and fun. It's really nice and easy to push around the room. Another thing that I like is that this brush comes out for cleaning. Um, it doesn't do that. Actually, I say it does that. I've just seen a picture in the book showing that it does. Yes, it does. I've just seen how to do it. Um, yeah, this comes out for cleaning, which it doesn't do on my Dyson, which I would like it to do. So that is a definite plus. Um, everything, as I said, slotted together. The build quality feels really nice. The slotting together of all the bits doesn't feel cheap or tacky in any way, as it shouldn't at this price. 
Um, it also comes with an extendable, stretchy thingamajig if you need a bit more stretch. Um, comes with that one, which you can use with the brush or just as a sucky thing like that. Comes with a that one, which gets into corners and is good for that sort of thing. And then it comes with a smaller one with a brush inside. Um, like that and then as I showed you previously this one which I need to experiment with and see what this does I'm looking forward to giving that one a go Overall, I'm impressed. I think it's good. I was expecting it to be good and it should be good for the price I believe it is 279 pounds um, I, I think I've got a discount code. I will put all the links and, and discount code info and all that in the description box below So if you want any more information um, It's available from Amazon um yeah i'm impressed actually i i was very skeptical about whether i would like it but i do i think it's good that's it for today i hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye